Hi, this is Jim Laval, clinical pharmacist and board certified clinical nutritionist. And I really want to bring you some exciting new news on the research that's being done with aged garlic extract and kyolic. Dr. Budoff at UCLA Medical Center, a leading interventional cardiologist, has been doing tremendous work and now on his fourth study has shown some literally groundbreaking information. You know, it's interesting, but when you think about plaquing your arteries, it's pretty complicated. You know, you wonder, well, where did these calcium come from to begin with? Well, the fact is, is that there's a lot of different forces at play that lead to the inner lining of your artery getting damaged. Now, the exciting thing is, is that Dr. Budoff's research is actually showing us that aged garlic extract acts at multiple different sites to help improve your cardiometabolic health. So whether it's reducing the oxidation of LDL cholesterol, which means that LDL cholesterol is no longer rusting, to improving HDL cholesterol, improving homocysteine levels. When you reduce homocysteine, you reduce damage to the arteries. Um, all these different dynamics are going on when you take aged garlic, but I'm gonna zero in on a couple of really special highlights that we're gonna find out about right now. The first one is on bone mineral density. In fact, when you do an image, you can get a picture of bone. And lo and behold, what happens is when people are beginning to calcify their arteries, there's a direct correlation to the loss in bone mineral density. So as your bones thin, it, your plaque and your arteries start to pick up, and that's been shown. So what Dr. Budoff was able to show was that when you took aged garlic extract, that it halted bone mineral density loss, and that means that there's not going to be as much calcium available for plaquing. And in this particular image, this came from um, one of Dr. Budoff's studies that was you know, highlighting the fact that aged garlic extract actually stops bone demineralization. Now, why is that so important? Look, guys, the first thing that happens is when you get under a lot of stress, you change the pH of your system, meaning your body gets more acidic through uh, maybe improper eating, not drinking enough fluids, uh, you know, not enough minerals in your body. But basically, the more acidic your chemistry gets, the more your bone will begin to break down in order to buffer the pH of your blood. And when that bone breaks down, that calcium's got to go somewhere. Aged garlic neutralizes that effect in your body. And basically what we see is that when people are on aged garlic extract, the coronary artery calcification or the progression to that slows down dramatically in people that already have existing plaque. But even more importantly, in the last Budoff study, which I'm going to show you, I don't want to you know, give you too much information here, but I think you're going to find something incredible and groundbreaking. So we're going to make sure we get over that. The likelihood of aged garlic extract to improve endothelial function improve homocysteine levels, meaning you lower homocysteine, which has a positive effect on your arterial health, and then also to reduce the progression of bone loss, or basically to osteoporosis, it actually showed that aged garlic had a very high correlation to having an impact on all of those parameters. I mean, that is significant to think of one ingredient that has those kind of uh, effects on your body. So the next thing is, is fat around your heart. So obviously, as you're gaining weight and you become uh, a cardiometabolic risk or someone with metabolic syndrome, you start to put fat around your organs. What they found is when you took aged garlic extract is that it would prevent the storage of fat around your heart and that it would also limit any future fat that was being stored around not just your heart, but other organs as well. And what I mean by that is the fact that even with the liver, and so we hear of non-alcoholic liver disease or fatty liver, we actually were able to show that when aged garlic extract was given or kyolic was given, that it had a dramatic impact on protecting the liver and protecting against the development of fatty liver. Why is that so important? Because in people with metabolic syndrome and they're obese, 22% of people that are obese will develop non-alcoholic fatty liver. And what's even more striking is that more people will need a liver transplant due to non-alcoholic fatty liver than due to hepatitis in the next decade. So any type of natural product that's shown its ability to be preventative and helpful in areas like non-alcoholic fatty liver 
will provide tremendous, tremendous benefit for a large part of the U.S. population because, after all, 78% of our population is overweight and you know, 38% is obese right now, today. So it's important to realize that this reduction in fatty liver, um, there's great data on it that came out of the Budoff trial. And, and, and I'm going to invite you to look at this slide to show exactly how powerful the statistics were on it.